I am David, your developer on duty, and in this video I'm gonna give you a quick update on what's new in NeoVim 0.7. <laughs> My favorite new feature is the global status line. By default, NeoVim renders a status line for each window. You can see it for file 1, for file 2, and for file 3. For my taste, that's a bit too much visual clutter. I'd rather like it a bit more minimal. So now you can set last status to equal 3 to enable a global status line. And now you only have one global status line showing the properties of the active window. There are now some improvements in how you create new key maps using Lua. If you wanted to execute some Lua function based on a key map, you formally needed to do the following. First, you create a new global function. So let's create a new function called mySuperFunk, which just prints hello world. Now let's create the key map using the old method. So we write vim api nvim set key map we want it to be in normal mode we use leader r for our key map and now we write colon lua my super funk and we have to provide this return here and we don't want recursive mappings that's why we always have to write this table here no remap equals to true so let's source it to try it out i hit leader r and it prints hello world as expected. I really dislike this API because first of all, you pollute your global namespace. And second, you always have to provide this options table. And 99% of the time you use no remap equals to true. So it's questionable that no remap equals to false is the default. But now with NeoVim 0.7, we have a better API. So first let's comment out the old approach. And we can just write vim key map set. We want to be in normal mode, leader r as before. But now we can directly provide the Lua function. Function print hello world. And that's it. And no remap equals to true is the default of this API. So let's source it and try it out. Still works. There's also a new API to pretty print variables, for example, tables. So let's just first change our function a bit and create a new table. Now, before you needed to write print vim.inspect foo. Let's try it out real quick. And you can see in the messages that we got our table back. Now with the new API, you can just write vim pretty print foo. Let's try it out. Still works. You can also quickly print expressions using the equal operation. So for example, if you write lua equals one plus two plus three, you get printed six. And of course it also works with tables. Finally, we have a Lua API to create auto commands and don't need to use Vim script anymore. So we can write vim.api and vim create auto command. We can, for example, use buff enter and now we can provide a Lua table where we can specify the pattern. Let's use star here. And we can provide the callback function as a Lua function. Callback equals to function. Let's just print hello world again. And that's it. Let's source it and let's try it. So I enter the buffer and I get hello world. There are many more new features. You can check out the release page of NeoVim 0.7. So let's go over the list real quick. So there are many more new core APIs and also useful Lua functions. And uh, for example, there's also this file type .lua, which will speed up NeoVim startup time in the future. There are improvements 
regarding tree sitter and the language server protocol integration there are some performance improvements and also many many bug fixes you can see the list is quite long that's it for this video please let me know in the comments what your favorite feature of neovim 0.7 is thanks for watching and stay tuned